Colon cancer, also known as colorectal cancer, poses a significant threat to human health. It often develops silently, initially lacking noticeable symptoms, making its detection and treatment challenging. Nevertheless, early detection is crucial as colon cancer is among the most preventable and treatable forms of cancer. In this video, we embark on a journey to understand the intricacies of colon cancer, particularly focusing on its signs and symptoms that should never be overlooked. But before diving into the details of its signs and symptoms, it's essential to grasp the fundamentals of colon cancer. Colon cancer originates in the colon or rectum, the final segments of the digestive tract. It usually starts as small, non-cancerous clumps of cells called polyps, which can eventually develop into cancerous growths. These abnormal cells have the potential to multiply, invade nearby tissues, and eventually metastasize to other parts of the body, leading to potentially life-threatening complications. Now, without further delay, let's get started. Number 1. Changes in Bowel Habits Bowel habits can vary due to several factors, including dietary changes, stress, and medications. Persistent diarrhea or constipation lasting for more than a few days requires attention. Diarrhea characterized by loose, watery stools may indicate the colon's inability to absorb water properly, potentially signaling colon cancer development. Conversely, persistent constipation, marked by infrequent or difficult bowel movements, may indicate colon obstruction, necessitating further investigation. The consistency of stool provides valuable insights into digestive health. While occasional changes are normal, persistent alterations may raise concerns. Thin, pencil-like stools, often described as ribbon-like, could indicate colon narrowing due to a tumor obstructing stool passage. On the other hand, persistent loose or watery stools may suggest colon inflammation or irritation, prompting further evaluation for possible malignancy. The sensation of incomplete evacuation, where one feels they haven't fully emptied their bowls after a bowl movement, is another noteworthy symptom. Although this sensation can result from various factors, such as muscle weakness or nerve damage, it can also indicate an obstructive lesion within the colon. Tumors or polyps may obstruct stool passage, causing a persistent feeling of incompleteness despite repeated efforts to evacuate the bowels fully. Number 2. Blood in stool. One of the most noticeable signs of rectal bleeding is the presence of visible blood in stool, ranging from bright red blood coating the stool surface to streaks of blood within it. While hemorrhoids, anal fissures, or minor gastrointestinal irritations are common causes of visible rectal bleeding, persistent or recurrent bleeding requires further evaluation. In some cases, colorectal cancer may manifest with intermittent bleeding, underscoring the need for thorough assessment and diagnosis. In contrast to bright red blood, which typically indicates lower gastrointestinal bleeding, dark, Terry stools may suggest bleeding higher up in the digestive system, such as the stomach or small intestine. Known as melina, this stool type can appear black or tar-like due to blood digestion during gastrointestinal transit. While melina can result from various causes, including ulcers or gastritis, it can also indicate bleeding from colorectal tumors, necessitating prompt investigation. Rectal bleeding may not always manifest visibly in stool. Sometimes, it presents as blood on toilet paper after wiping following a bowl movement. This subtle yet significant symptom should not be overlooked, especially if it recurs or persists over time. Even small amounts of blood on toilet paper may indicate underlying issues such as hemorrhoids, anal fissures, or, in some cases, colorectal malignancies, necessitating a comprehensive evaluation to determine the cause and appropriate management. Number 3. Abdominal Discomfort Persistent abdominal pain or cramping, particularly if it occurs with increasing frequency or severity, warrants attention and further evaluation. Although abdominal pain can originate from various sources, such as indigestion, gas, or muscle strain, it can also signify underlying gastrointestinal pathology, like colon inflammation or obstruction. Colon cancer, in particular, may present with persistent abdominal discomfort, necessitating thorough assessment and diagnosis. Bloating, characterized by a sensation of abdominal fullness or distension, is a common yet often overlooked symptom indicating gastrointestinal disturbances. 
while occasional bloating may result from dietary indiscretions or temporary fluid retention. Persistent or recurrent bloating, especially when accompanied by other symptoms, should not be ignored. In some cases, bloating may indicate underlying gastrointestinal issues, including colorectal malignancies, requiring further investigation. Abdominal tenderness, characterized by sensitivity or discomfort upon palpation of the abdomen, can provide valuable clues about underlying pathology. While tenderness can result from various factors, such as inflammation or infection, localized tenderness in specific abdominal regions may indicate issues within the gastrointestinal tract, including the colon. Colon cancer, in particular, may present with tenderness or discomfort in the lower abdomen, prompting the need for comprehensive assessment and diagnosis. Number 4. Anemia Anemia arises when the body lacks a sufficient number of healthy red blood cells or hemoglobin, the oxygen-carrying protein within these cells. As a result, individuals with anemia may experience symptoms such as fatigue, weakness, shortness of breath, pale skin, and dizziness. While anemia can stem from various factors, including nutritional deficiencies, chronic diseases, or genetic conditions, it can also indicate underlying gastrointestinal bleeding, a common complication of colon cancer. Recognizing the symptoms of anemia is crucial for early detection and intervention. Fatigue, a hallmark symptom of anemia, may manifest as persistent tiredness or lethargy, impacting daily activities and overall quality of life. Weakness, another common symptom, may present as diminished physical strength or stamina, affecting one's ability to perform routine tasks. Shortness of breath, particularly during exertion, may signify inadequate oxygen delivery to tissues due to reduced hemoglobin levels, while pale skin may result from decreased blood flow and oxygenation. Colon cancer can lead to anemia through gastrointestinal bleeding, wherein tumors or polyps within the colon or rectum cause blood loss into the digestive tract. While this bleeding may not always be visible externally, it can result in chronic blood loss over time, depleting the body's iron stores and precipitating anemia. In some cases, individuals may experience occult, hidden, blood loss detected only through specialized tests such as fecal occult blood testing or fecal immunochemical testing. Number 5. Rectal bleeding. Rectal bleeding, also known as hematochezia, can manifest as bright red blood coating the stool surface, streaks of blood within it, or blood on toilet paper after wiping. Although the sight of blood may evoke fear or anxiety, it's essential to approach rectal bleeding with a level-headed perspective, recognizing that it can result from various factors, both benign and serious. Hemorrhoids, swollen blood vessels in the rectum or anus, are one of the most common causes of rectal bleeding. These benign growths can bleed during bowel movements, leading to bright red blood on the toilet paper or in the stool. Anal fissures, small tears in the lining of the anus, can also cause rectal bleeding, particularly during bowel movements or straining. While hemorrhoids and anal fissures account for many cases of rectal bleeding, other less common but potentially serious causes should be considered. These include inflammatory bowel diseases, such as ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease, diverticulosis, or the presence of small pouches in the colon wall, and colorectal cancer, which can cause bleeding as tumors grow and invade surrounding tissues. Rectal bleeding associated with colorectal cancer may present differently from bleeding due to hemorrhoids or anal fissures. It may be intermittent, occurring sporadically and unrelated to bowel movements, or it may be accompanied by other symptoms such as changes in bowel habits, abdominal pain, unexplained weight loss, or fatigue. While rectal bleeding alone does not necessarily indicate cancer, it should prompt further evaluation especially in individuals over the age of 50 or those with risk factors, such as a family history of colorectal cancer. Number 6. Iron Deficiency Iron is an essential mineral that plays a vital role in various bodily functions, including the production of hemoglobin, the oxygen-carrying protein in red blood cells. When iron levels in the body become depleted, individuals may develop iron deficiency, leading to symptoms such as fatigue, weakness, pale skin, shortness of breath, and headaches. Iron deficiency can result from various factors, including inadequate dietary intake, chronic blood loss, 
or certain medical conditions. It can also signify underlying gastrointestinal issues, including colorectal diseases. Recognizing the signs and symptoms of iron deficiency is crucial for early detection and intervention. Fatigue, a hallmark symptom of iron deficiency anemia, may manifest as persistent tiredness or lethargy, impacting daily activities and overall quality of life. Weakness, another common symptom, may present as diminished physical strength or stamina, affecting one's ability to perform routine tasks. Individuals may experience pale skin, shortness of breath, dizziness, or headaches, all of which can result from inadequate oxygen delivery to tissues due to reduced hemoglobin levels. Colorectal diseases, including colon cancer, can lead to iron deficiency through chronic gastrointestinal bleeding. As tumors or polyps grow within the colon or rectum, they may cause bleeding into the digestive tract, resulting in gradual blood loss and depletion of iron stores. While this bleeding may not always be visible externally, it can lead to iron deficiency anemia over time, manifesting with characteristic symptoms such as fatigue, weakness, and pale skin. Awareness is the cornerstone of preventive health care. By empowering individuals with knowledge about the signs and symptoms of colon cancer, we enable them to become proactive participants in their health journey. Recognizing subtle changes in bowl habits, unexplained weight loss, rectal bleeding, fatigue, weakness, and other symptoms can prompt early medical intervention, potentially leading to earlier detection and improved treatment outcomes. Regular screening is key to detecting colorectal diseases, including colon cancer, at their earliest, most treatable stages. Screening tests such as colonoscopies, fecal occult blood tests, or fecal immunochemical tests can identify precancerous polyps or early-stage cancers before they progress to advanced disease. Advocating for screening, particularly among individuals at higher risk due to age, family history, or other factors, is essential for preventing colorectal cancers and reducing mortality rates. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to having you join us in the next video.